Bloody. Drive. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good. Yeah. 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 Oi, tu lagi ganha zero tau ni, hujan. Hujan. So here I am back in the Bladen Mining District. Since I was last here, there's been a tremendous amount of work in new diggings. Uh, as you can see behind me here, the size of this area is about doubled, but they're not finding nearly as much as they were a little bit east of here. Um, I'm going to make my way down the shaft to meet Abdu, and we've got something special to show you down there, so let's go. You can take a peek there if you'd like. See him as he comes up. Why was I having suck? Yeah. Why? Why? No. Oh. How are you? Good. Good. Good, good. Do you have other? No. Look. It's okay? Whatever. It's okay. Here is your thing. Okay. Hi, Kim. Hello, Abdu. How you? It's work? Yeah. <laughs> I'm now headed down the new shaft that Abdu's been digging here. It looks to be Give you guys a look. <laughs> Trying to ease myself down with my feet. Um, probably 40 meters, I'd say. I'm good. As you can see, these workings behind me, this stone is hardened clay wouldn't say fossilized into full stone but very hard material now we're going through a layer of hard rock spin myself here okay. you can see they were working a pocket there some material okay yep I can see where they've been working on pockets here. Some ventilation piping they were using. I'm just easing myself down. Salam alaikum. And I've reached bottom of the shaft now. Yeah? Off the lay. Yep. Now, I'll send it back up. A mic to climb on, come down. How are you?
you can see a little space here tight workings Can you hear me? Uh, I'm just gonna go back to the mouth here so I can communicate from the main shaft via operator's radio. Can you hear me up there? Do you read me? Do you guys read me? Okay. You see it or not? Yeah. You see it? Oh, down there? I didn't go. Okay. Go? Yeah. All right, the boys have joined me down the shaft. And I'm going to make my way to see how long have you been working on this shaft? Uh, how long? Yeah. Just, uh, I think, two weeks. Two weeks. Just. So they took them, took them a couple of months to dig the main shaft, and there's some side workings here that they've been working on, you know, for about a month in that time. But they kept following the sign. abdu has been doing this for many years, as you saw in the last season's episode. So now. They've been following the trace mineral and I was on the border of Algeria looking for dinosaurs when he called me and said hurry back. So I drove pretty far across the country to make it back here to see what they got into and my goodness, the hard work nearly never pays off. But after many, many years of professional work and uh, persistence, you know, then it, then it pays off. Here's a look at what they discovered in the last couple days. Did you find this? Yeah. Unbelievable. Wow, Abdu. <laughs> wow. Now, to see something like this, it's not only a dream, but a pocket like this can change the lives of their families and put food on the table for at least a year or two and continue to finance more dig and operations. It is not easy to come by something like this. It takes many, many years of experience and labor to be able to follow the sign and veins to get to something like this. And now that it's been found, the hard work really begins because extracting it is so incredibly delicate. If the pieces come apart or become damaged, even to the slightest degree, they can become worthless. And so they pause and will dig out this hole larger so that they can work on extracting these incredible specimen. All of this van tonight is of pure color in cherry red with a translucent finish. And it's sitting on blades of barite, 
which make it even more exceptional. I'm gonna slide out now and let Abdu try and explain to me more. What can you tell me? <laughs> the hard part begins now to extract it without damaging it. Yeah. How will you work on this? From the sides. Yeah, it will start there to go there, there, there to bank this. And you will try to keep as yeah. many large pieces as possible. Here is hard to 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 work for it. Behind the barite yeah. will crumble. I have to start there. It's easy. Yeah. To make uh, a hole for don't touch the Any crystals. Of it. Yeah. How long will it take you? It's very careful work. Yeah. We think two hours. Yeah. Wow. I do. Yeah. It's, a it's hard to work. It's a good pocket. It's a very beautiful pocket. The color is very good. Yeah. It's incredibly hard work. So he will begin working on this pocket and I will stay by his side to give you guys a look at what he's doing and as he progresses, we'll show you how difficult it is and hopefully we will be able to give you a look at what specimens look like after they're extracted. There's not much space in here to work, so I'm going to slide out so he can come in and begin. But what an experience to bring you guys along on. And I'm so happy. I know there's a lot of collectors out there that have waited many years with no look inside of these mines. It's not a place that people normally get to come visit and because these men are like my brothers I'm lucky enough to share in this experience with them and bring you guys along for the ride in this episode. Okay so I've come back out of the hole and do has gone down in. Michael is passing the impact driver down to him to begin the work. As you can see he had opened up into a small pocket here and there was really starting to begin a fair amount of barite sign and you can see here and here and here and there's some vanadinite here but once they found the barite as you can see here in front of me above Michael there's a vein and there's another one coming from the side here that goes back a little bit behind this wall and exposes just in front of him there. Both of them led down kind of like this. And what he did was follow those into another pocket. Once he reached that pocket, this is when he opened up and really saw the big side of Vandenite. So I'm gonna make my way back out so he can work and they can pass the bucket for material that we can take out. So as you can see, Abdu has worked around the pocket of vanadinite there, but he has to use smaller tools, put away the impact, and use hand tools. This specific tool is helping him to remove lighter pieces of the wall and expose natural cracks that he can use to get himself a clean break.
Oh, peace. Whew, look at that specimen. This one, put this one. Just this one. It's okay. Right. So now we've made some progress here. Rather, I do has. And being cramped in this small hole, you can see is real tight, especially in confines to be working. But this is what it takes here to. Them. And now we need to move some of the excess out and out of the way that so he can slip back in further and continue the work. There's low oxygen in here, and I can definitely feel that it a decreased area. You can only imagine what it would be like to be in here. Day after day after day, working with dust and iron content, other minerals in the air, just breathing them in. These miners don't wear face masks. I'm so surprised because you can really feel it hitting inside your lungs, air cavities. But this is the life of a miner here in Morocco. In the middle of the mountains, so <laughs> kudos to these guys because it ain't easy. I've been in here for you know better part of an hour and I'm already able to feel it taking a slight toll on me. Um, but I'm just staying calm and We've been digging here for, I'm doing rather for a better part of a couple hours, working on the pocket. We've got a lot of specimens we pulled out. And now, uh, I'm gonna step out and uh, go back to the surface and try and get some fresh air. And maybe call it a day. We're gonna come back down. But it was really amazing to be able to film that and be a part of a new discovery here. Uh, uh, I'm gonna hims mine, Mike. So uh, I've got to get back to the surface myself.
Dreams really do come true, folks. Put your hand in the... Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, colder over here. Are you okay, man? Yes. Good job, brother. Thank you. You are lucky. Yeah, I'm glad <laughs> we got that. Okay, I'm gonna head back up. Double time, too. Yeah. <laughs> Passing different pockets here that they worked on. I was trying to watch my head and kind of guide myself using my feet. Definitely prefer a harness next time I come down, as it's not real comfortable using this contraption. That they've made, but you know, that's what they've got. I showed up with the harness. They looked at me like a wild man once again, like last time. <laughs> but I'm back at the service. Well, that was something else. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, super thankful that I was able to rush back over from the border and get here in time and I think we're gonna call it a day here at Abdu Mineral Abdu Minerals Mines um, brothers are tired they've been working for days to get to that pocket so yeah I think we're gonna call it gotta unload some uh, fossils and things we picked up over at the border and then kind of recollect ourselves for tomorrow and get back out here thanks for tuning in for this episode hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, how Van and I is mined here in Mibladen in the Middle Atlas Mountains. And I might be able to do another episode or two here at this site. We'll see. Um, just depends what they're getting into. But for now, I'm signing off. See you guys later. <laughs>